Decision delayed. A Senate panel weighing an ethics complaint against DFL Senator Nicole Mitchell pressed pause again. They're waiting until uh, after her next court date before they take any action. Mitchell faces one felony count of first degree burglary in connection to a break in at her stepmother's home in April. Caroline Cummings has the latest on the political fallout from those allegations. I am calling the Senate subcommittee on ethical conduct to order. It was all wrapped up in 20 minutes. The ethics subcommittee delayed action again on an ethics complaint against Senator Nicole Mitchell that argues she violated Senate rules and brought the chamber into quote dishonor and disrepute. So we have no more uh, no new information or changes that we would perhaps um, decide to go ahead and um, conclude for the day. The new date to reconvene, July 25th. That will follow the next hearing in her criminal case on July 1st. She was initially due in court this week, which is why last month the panel sought to delay action until today. By July 25th, this case will not be substantially advanced to the point that there would be new information. There's some leeway to reconvene sooner if there's any new information. Republicans are awaiting a ruling from a judge that could authorize the release of police body camera footage capturing the alleged burglary. And I think that um, might be helpful to the ethics subcommittee hearings. The political fallout is mounting. In the last few weeks, a growing list of Democrats, including Governor Tim Walz and DFL party chair Ken Martin, have called for her resignation. Mitchell missed a deadline last weekend that would have put a special election for her seat on the same day as the general election in November had she resigned. But her attorney says Senator Mitchell has no intention of doing that. Some political dynamics have shifted. Uh, the legal dynamics uh, are uh, what they are here. In St. Paul, Caroline Cummings, WCCO News. Mitchell's attorney says he doesn't think her case will be wrapped up for several months. The Minnesota legislature will convene again in January.